After our non-stop marathon up the Estrada Real, we decided to cool our jets in Diamantina for a few days to rest, clean up, and handle some pressing business. It's been over two weeks. Why isn't why isn't the transfer available? I don't understand. What, well, okay, so what is a different method of transfer? Help me out here. Check. How about check? Check? Like a paper check? Yes. I'm in Brazil right now, and I'm trying to transfer money to my daughter's account in Los Angeles, so I can't write her a check. I don't even have a checkbook with me. I didn't bring checks with me to South America. The transaction that you are trying to do is not available at the time, sir. So when will it be available? When when will it be available? Sir, I cannot provide you any details, but you can try to do it at a later time. I've, I've already tried for two weeks. After two weeks locked out of his Citibank account and having exhausted our cash reserves, Chad had no choice but to go full Karen before we could afford to hit the road again. It's unavailable at this time. That's unacceptable. That answer is unacceptable. I'm not going to accept that. So transfer me to somebody that can, that can fix this. On a bona fide cross-country tour covering 1,800 kilometers across the states of Minas Gerais, Sao Paulo, and Mato Grosso do Sul, Our goal over the next five days included stops in Bom Despacho, Uberaba, Tres Lagoas, and Campo Grande, en route to Bonito, the gateway to the world's largest wetlands, the Pantanal. Averaging 360 kilometers a day, over the next five days, will put us a stone's throw away from both the Bolivian and the Paraguayan borders, where we'll have to figure out what next. South into Paraguay and back into Argentina or north into Bolivia. A good problem to have, no doubt, but we'll burn that bridge later. For the time being, we still have plenty of Brazil left to explore. My oysters are steamed. My crotch was getting all wet when it was raining and then it got hot and I was just sitting in steam. Your crotch oysters? My crotch oysters. <laughs> A receipt or something, bubblegum wrapper.
We set off from Bohm Despacho on day number two of our cross-country tour. Ah, ah, ah. But no sooner than we hit the highway, then Chad detoured. We don't really have a route. We only have a few points of interest. We're trying to weave our way between them. And our time thus far in, in Brazil has been excellent. It's been unexpected. It's been awesome. Uh, but now we find ourselves trying to kind of get across the country, which makes roads like this extremely difficult. When this stuff is wet, it is some of the slickest snot on earth. And once it starts to dry out, it sticks to absolutely everything. With all the recent rain we've been getting with this late rainy season, now I've kind of resigned myself to just pounding pavement there. What are you gonna do? This is part of travel. Travel like this never follows a straight line and it usually doesn't go according to plan, which is why I try not to make a plan. We're just still kind of making it up as we go along, but that stuff over there, it ain't fun, especially two up. You're a drifter. I'm a high plains drifter. I'm a gypsy. And no sooner than Chad uttered the R word that the rain besieged us once again. Way to go, High Plains Drifter. Got you a puddle there? <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Peraí, deixa descer pra cá. Essa aí, chefe. Tem jeito, levanta não. Vamos lá, pega daí, vai. Vai. Ó, go. Oi. Oi, aí. Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Como é que você tá? Tudo bem, Bruno? A hora que você entrou ali, eu já falei que a África é tua, enfim. É bruta. Tchau, beijo, beijo. Eu gostei que é bruta. Apparently, that's how gypsies pull into gas stations. So, you, do you know what happened there? What? My, I've got mud all over the rear brake, and when I went to hit the rear brake, my foot slipped off. I didn't grab the front brake, but you know, since we're coming at an angle, the weight shifted right, right in the, right in the gas pump. First time I've done that. Try to leave a little smoother than we uh, came in. Go. Fueled up and back on the highway, the rain took pity on us and relented for our final stretch into Uberaba, where we stopped at the local craft brewery to celebrate Chad's 47th spin around the sun. And what's better for that IPA hangover than pounding potholes across the incredibly flat farmlands of the Brazilian interior, where they grow a lot of this stuff, whatever it is. Oh my God, holy shit. Before crossing the confounded bridge, where we bid farewell to the pockmarked pavement of Minas Gerais, and luxuriated in the buttery smooth tarmac of the state of Sao Paulo and the bone straight roads of Brazil's breadbasket. Soybeans, corn, Sugarcane and rice account for 90% of Brazil's agricultural production by landmass. And that landmass is here 
in the fertile fields of South Central Brazil, or as Chad likes to call it, Nebraska, which is just Nebraska in Portuguese. Excuse me. Yeah. California. California? Yeah. And, uh, say, say hi. Good night, just sorry, just. <laughs> I am from actually, here in Brazil. I am a learner to speak English. Uh, what's your name? Here? Chad. And uh, my name is Fabio. Fabio? <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Fabio. Uh, meet your you. wife? And? Yeah, that's my wife, Rose. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Rose. Rose? Yeah. My name is Fabio. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Man, this is what I imagine Nebraska's like. Just pounding mile after mile of bone straight, boring road out in the middle of nowhere just flying through fields uh, until you reach some random city placed at an intersection with another boring bone straight road <laughs> oh holy crap these roads are the most dangerous though because uh you get kind of complacent you get tired you start daydreaming next thing you know you're in a ditch or under a truck or something so uh you still got to stay on your toes this is all part of the trip. Get away from me. It can't all be good times. Yeah, I don't care. Get away from me. <laughs> Those long, flat, straight rows have gotten a rose. <laughs> She's losing it. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Clearly throwing it away. <laughs> You're with me in the middle of nowhere, Brazil. <laughs> You've made some poor life choices. It's all right. I'm better. I'm good. <laughs> You're good now. Let's get on. You just had a moment there. <laughs> After a chat with Fabio and a brief existential crisis, I collected myself and we pushed on. Fighting to stay awake and keep it between the lines, we finally crossed the most confounded of all bridges, Francisco de Sa, over the Paraná River, into Tres Lagoas, and the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. We uh, woke up this morning in the state of Minas Gerais and uh, crossed over into the state of Sao Paulo, uh, the, the Nebraska of Brazil, and we just crossed into the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. So uh, three states today. First time here. We continued along BR-262, albeit slow going at times. From the sugarcane fields of Sao Paulo to the timber farms of Mato Grosso do Sul, we pushed further inland, bobbing and weaving our way through the non-stop onslaught of progress and industrial evolution edging ever so closer to Ooh. our little corner yeah. of the Pantanal. That squeezed out. Or whatever was left of it.
the temperatures continue to rise, tempered ever so often by a transient thunderstorm, until finally arriving at the state capital of Campo Grande. The largest city and historic crossroads of this once vast wilderness. <laughs> Fuck this. Day number five, our final push to Bonito, started a bit wet, but we were soon out of the city, making progress along BR060 and within striking distance of our destination. We started out there. We rode here. And we're going here. We're almost there. Is it frog? Dead frog, dead tapir. What is it called? I think it's a tapir. And there's something else on that's just trash. God, he's like crazy to pass. After stopping to inspect 300 kilos of roadkill, passing the abandoned migrant camps of Chiru, and pounding over 1,800 kilometers of slab, we finally made it to Bonito our base camp for the next few days, and our springboard for exploring the world's largest wetlands, the Brazilian Pantanal. You my little bag of Skittles. <laughs> you're, my, you're my soggy bag of Skittles. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What am I doing with my life? <laughs>